Risky Behavior. Yo, hey, what's up? How y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I am your host, Schmelly. I'm coming to you with a quick clip from Pop the Balloon. Um, two things I noticed from watching this clip that I'm about to play is um, women are um, eh, a bit ridiculous sometimes. And um, the brother in this um, clip, <laughs> uh, he woke up and chose violence. And, um, you know, I think guys are getting tired of the um, disses. And instead of being nice, smiling and, and playing along, they're just um, they're choosing the fire back. Should I speak? Uh, it'll make sense when I play the clip, though. OK, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your okay. name? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Let's get your name. <laughs> My name is Jay. Jay, how old are you? I'm I'm 30, 38. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah. And what, what do you do? I'm an Uber and Lyft driver. All right. Yeah. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to hike. Um, I like to swim. I like to go on adventures. Okay. I like to travel, you know, things like that. Got it. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Things I look for in a woman, integrity, um, somebody adventurous mm -hmm. as well, open-minded, um, that's pretty much it. Now, what are some deal breakers? Cigarettes, okay. I can't do cigarettes. Um, black and milds, I can't do that. <laughs> Weed is cool, but you can't smoke blunts. I can't have you smelling like my boys, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. So we did get some pop balloons. Yeah. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. Let's start over here with your name and age. Brittany, 28. Okay. And Brittany, why did you end up popping your balloon? Jack like my homeboy, for real. He's cool. He cool. We chat, chatted up on Facebook all the time. He, he a little lot for me, though. So Ooh. he's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Jay. Yeah, she my type. She my swag. I be in her DMs, but she don't be... Hit She's me back. She's homeboy. She friends on you. Yeah, I know she friends on me. <laughs> That's cool though. We were supposed to go to Sedona together, and it just never happened. Mm. I was gonna let him take me to Sedona, and never he never hit me up about it. So, uh, okay. yeah, <laughs> go on over there. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> so why why he didn't never take her to? Sedona then if if he been trying to hook up with her this whole time. <laughs> the people be playing too many games, man. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Keela. I'm twenty six. And Keela, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well you look good. I love the shoulders. Um just not my typical type. Okay. Yeah. So I'm a, I'm gonna take a page out of our Let's book. So what it what about me is not your typical type? Be be specific. I mean, I would just say the height, like I'm short, but you're like just hitting five eight, five nine, probably. How tall are you? Five ten? I'm five ten. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it looks like you like to wake up at four in the morning and run and and sweat even in the evening. Who sent you? No one. Who but sent I feel you, like Keela? you know, I got your aura and it gives, you know, for the right woman. Okay. Um, and it's just not for me, respectfully. Right. But you look good, okay? Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so do you. Okay, yeah. so Keila, someone that's your type? Um, she my type, but she don't look like she run at four in the morning. I don't. So I'm like, babe, I'm a cookie breakfast. But you still look good, though. You still <laughs> okay, look thank good. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I, I can't do the uh, lashes. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, the lashes. Like, I feel like if some something got in your eye, we would need a priest because you're going to love <laughs> Now, I, I want y'all to notice the... <laughs> the 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 woman in the um with the white top her face when he brings up the lashes because she said hey is this your type he's being asked a question on a dating show and mind you on this show people are allowed to be honest about if you're their type or not and what they don't like about you good okay well thank you you're welcome <laughs> so do you okay yeah. so keila someone that's your type um she my type but she don't look like she run at four in the morning i don't so i'm like babe i'm a cookie breakfast but you still look good though you still <laughs> okay, look thank good you. i appreciate it but i i can't do the uh, lashes like mm -hmm. yeah the lashes like i feel like if some something got in your <laughs> eye we would need a priest because you're gonna levitate <laughs> we're gonna what? need an exorcism 
You know what I'm wow. saying? Not bringing that's spiritual right. into but this. But you're looking good, though. Okay, that's yeah. just a red flag. Yeah. You know, I feel it. But I, feel I love it. the jokes. How come the red flag is never the fact that they face makeup don't match they neck? Look how, look at the difference <laughs> from my face to. That should be a red flag. Thank well, you. All right, name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Angelique. I'm 32. Okay. Uh, it was the lashes comment. I, women are going to women. You right. know, we're going to do what we're going to do. And right. I think for a man to make a comment about the things that we do, makeup, hair, lashes, like I get that it's not your preference, but let women be women. Right. Or don't date us. I knew you was going to say that. Why y'all be saying that? I don't know why y'all say it. I know I said it because maybe y'all don't realize that that's an option. Hmm. Okay. Because, you know, we're going to do what we're going to do. Right. And to constantly have a man say something is like, oh, I just wanted to put my lash on today. Right. See how I say that ridiculous? She said to have a man make a comment about lashes. It's not some random guy. It's a dating show. And it was saying. Is this your type? No, she's not my type because she has those big lashes on. That's not my type. And then say, well, because women are going to women. You have plenty of women. Number one, you got women that actually are allergic to those things. Like it mess their eyes up from wearing them. Number two, you have women that are very much natural that don't wear lashes at all. So to say let women is women being women no he was asked a question about his type he simply said what well, is not his type instead of you just popping your balloon and saying hey why did you pop your balloon oh well because he said he's not into lashes i'm a woman that's into lashes and i don't think i'd be a fit for him but no she had to attack and then she had to suggest that he can't date them you know he can't date women all of a sudden because he doesn't like lashes as if all women wear lashes. And it's just not true. There's plenty of women walk around and don't wear lashes. And so what she's doing is she's being very, very, very ridiculous. Watch this, though. Or I but just so, want to go to my extension. So this, this, this is my thing, right? So if you if you saying don't date women, who are you looking for? Because if all the men saying we don't like that, why you keep doing it? I didn't say all the men say that. I'm, I'm talking about I'm men that do you. say that. I feel like, so men are going to say that. And right. most men could care less if we wear lashes or makeup or hair or whatever the case is. Right. But for you to make a comment about it, it's different because you're not just allowing me to be me. You want me to be what you want me to be. And that's fine. Right. However, I don't want to be that. I feel that. Or any other one. <laughs> See how what ridiculous she just said? You're not allowing me to be me. How? He's not telling anybody what to do, what not to do. He was asked, silly lady. He was asked, is this your type? No. Why is this not your type? Because of A, because of B, because of C. That's it. Why are you taking it so personal why are you so hurt by that why must he not be allowed to date women now why is he being accused of not allowing you to be yourself no he you're not my type i wouldn't date you him not allowing you to be yourself would be if he dated you anyway got you into a relationship and then he tried to change you but that's not what he's doing he's just saying you're not my type Woman, okay. essentially. I feel That's that. Let's go to I like, your, I like your eyeshadow, though. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. All right, your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Shiloh, 27. I don't know. He gives a lot for me. And I like my man's really chill, because I like to do the most. Uh -oh. So <laughs> my man needed to be, like, in the background, like, watching over me. I don't need my man doing the most when I'm doing the most. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jay? I mean, that's kind of full circle on the first episode I was in. I said that, too, so I get it. 
Um, but what gives you a lot? Like, I don't know. It looks like you're like very goofy. Like you go out like as like Africans, like the Liberians would say, you like to follow a place. Like you like to be the center of attention. And I get attention. I don't like to be the center of it. So it's like when we go out with you, a lot of the time I'm just going to be feeling like you're doing the most. And I don't like that. I like my man lay back. Lay very back. laid back. Like I need to be like, babe, let's get out of the house. And he's going to be like, leave me alone. I'm tired. <laughs> If you, if you you look like you love to be outside. I don't. And I love to be outside. That's the crazy thing. Like, you would have to drag me out the house. Okay. All I do is work. And if I do something, it's going to be like a trip. It's going to be something planned, right? Okay. But I don't just be at the club, like, popping bottles. I don't be, like, I'm going to be like, yo, let's go take a train ride to Sedona. Let's do something like that. Let's go <laughs> float the river, something like that. But as far as a club, you can go by yourself, come back. You know what I'm saying? Go <laughs> Hold on, hold on, I gotta rewind it. You see her face. Cause see. He told the other girl that he was gonna take her on the trip to um Sedona. I get attention. I don't like to be the center of it. So it's like when we go out with you a lot of time I'm just gonna be feeling like you're doing the most. And I don't like that. I like my man lay back. Lay Very back. laid back. Like I need to be like, babe, let's get out of the house. And he's gonna be like, Leave me alone. I'm tired. <laughs> if you you, you look like you love to be outside. I don't. And I love to be outside. That's the crazy thing. Like, you would have to drag and me out I the house. to be outside. All I do is work. And if I do something, it's going to be like a trip. It's going to be something planned, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't just be at the club, like, popping bottles. I don't be, like, I'm going to be like, yo, let's go take a train ride to Sedona. Let's do something like that. Let's go <laughs> float the river, something like that. But. <laughs> So this who he was in her DM. He promised her a trip to Sedona, but he never took her. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he over there telling another girl, "Oh, I tell you, we gonna take a trip to Sedona." She like, it's <laughs> lying. <laughs> as far as a club, you can go by yourself. Come back, you know what I'm saying? Go have all that attention. Just Plus come back to me. Same hairstyle. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You want to fill up? You want to get your balloon back? <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Derek. I'm 31. I pop my balloon because you are very attractive. But this sounds very weird. And don't judge because you're giving don't it judge already. Me. I like my man a little, a little, like a splash of. Ugly. I think you're like a really pretty boy, which is good, but it's just not my type. That's okay. it. That's a compliment, though. Like, you look really good, but I just, I like my man a little more grungy, maybe. Grungy. Very polished. Okay. Mm -hmm. But and don't take it bad at all. You look good. Okay. Okay. So is she someone that's your type? Um, no. Okay. Then why not? Just because you don't look like you work out. <laughs> To be honest, that's that's I forgot to say, it, but that is one of my deal breakers. Um, I want somebody who lives a healthy lifestyle. Okay. He's just dissing everybody. That's good for me. Like <laughs> even if you're not in the gym, I need you eating right or something, or you know what I mean. And I feel like that's not we don't we're not on the same frequency with that. Totally fine, but um, I work out five times a week and I'm vegan. But I get it. You looking for a certain type? So. Okay, all right. All right. We both looking for something. Well, if we going on first impressions and for all intents and purposes of the show, that's, just what, you that's what I would see. He he just wanted to diss everybody. That's all he's doing. The only person he said was his type is the first girl. Um, I'm going to say it. To me, she's not even necessarily the prettiest one there, but... He knows her, so he's gonna say that. But all these other girls, it, he he obviously just got smoke for them. He's probably just he's just upset. He doesn't like the fact that they pop the balloons on him. He's doing a good job of being nice about it though. But <laughs> all of them, he's like, they ain't his type. Right. Okay. So. All right. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? I'm Mercedes. I'm 27, and I only popped because I have a history with people with dreads, and oh. it's just PTSD. Dang. So. <laughs> it must have been real bad it for was. you to take them all out. Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, then. I'm a casualty of war. Damn. <laughs> all right. So, Jay, is she someone that's your type? Um, 
No, no. Okay. And why not? I don't know. I just don't like those boots. I, that's one of my things is the boots, but I just don't. That, there's something about them. That's fine. Yeah. But everything else cool, though. <laughs> everything else cool. It's solid. <laughs> okay. So, but what's wrong with the boots? I don't know, man. It's just something about, like... I just, I, I have no reason. Oh. I literally have no reason. <laughs> I just don't like them. It's just not my preference. Like, I can't give you a solid reason. It's something wrong with that whole outfit. It's something wrong. I don't like the hair. I don't like the shirt. I don't like the skirt. I don't like the boots. I don't like the outfit. She's a cute girl, but I don't know what she was thinking coming on there looking like that. I just don't like them. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Let's you. go here. You're and actually, you know what she's dressed like when you when you think about right here, this girl, she kind of dressed like a high school student. It's weird. She's just like a like a super young girl. Like that's not. I I I just wouldn't think that'd be attractive, a, a good look for this um, particular show. Why you ended up popping your balloon? Uh, my name is Shannon, twenty seven, and um, well after. Listening, I popped. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. I would say, I mean, the, the whole lash thing. Okay. I do my makeup consistently. Like, I love doing my makeup. I have a good time doing it. So that's probably going to be a problem for you. I got big lashes. Um, also, as well, I'm a seasonal gym member. So I go when, when I need to go. Okay. Not not much of because I, I have to go. It's right. like, oh, I got a wedding or Halloween's coming up. I need to look right. So probably won't fit for you. So that's all. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Jay, is she your type? Nah, she too tall. <laughs> she too tall for me. I told you before, 2024, five, five, four five, and under 5'4". Five, four. Under 5'4", five, four. <laughs> four, under 20, you know, 2024, under 5'4". Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. We, well, I was passing her. We got one unpopular <laughs> over here. <laughs> your name and age? Tyra, 31. Honestly, you're attractive, but you're just not my type. I wanted to hear you out to see if like maybe the vibe was there, but I just don't feel like we are the same and compatible in multiple ways. Okay. Including like the gym. She mentioned 4 a.m. I like to sleep in. I don't eat healthy. I like pizza and I like cereal and I, I do eat, that too. I do oat milk, but other than that, you know. I, I, I do all of that, but I do it. You know, I, I do it in moderation. Yeah, no. So, and I don't push my, my thoughts on I'm all you. all the time. Oh, you all the time? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, got well, that's probably, I, I got the genetics, so I just, it is what it is. That's probably, I get it. Yeah. And I be mad at y'all because mm-hmm. I be having to work out. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so Jay, is she someone that's your type? Um, nah, because she don't work out. For me, <laughs> for me the intrinsic <laughs> value is more like I don't, I don't really care too much about, it's a lifestyle. So, like. If I'm always in the house with you, mm-hmm. I'm going to pick up your habits. You're going to pick up my habits. Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. I just have a question. Because um, it seems like you're very adamant on the gym. Right. I feel like men should lead. And I feel like if you have the ability to um, motivate your woman to get in a gym and make a difference in her lifestyle to be a little bit more healthier, to be more confident in that. So I wanted to know, like, is it just like – it's like a hard, I need you in the gym for a.m. too. Are you willing or are you no. able to teach someone a different type of lifestyle as a man? I'm willing to teach you a different type of lifestyle, but I used to be a personal trainer. So I started my own business in 2013, and I actually lost my passion because of that. It was hard for me to motivate people. Um, so the biggest thing I would say is um, if, you're, if you're willing to do it on your own, I can guide you. But I don't want to be your crutch because what happens if I get hurt? What happens if I die? God forbid. What happens if um, I can't be there for a month or whatever it is and now you just fall off, right? Mm -hmm. I want it to be more of a lifestyle for yourself because I want you to better yourself because in the black community, we have a lot of health issues and it's directly related Mm -hmm. to being inactive Mm -hmm. and food. Right. So all my uncles, I had 13 uncles and aunts, heart disease. They died from heart attacks. My mom like it just runs in our family. I'm like, my mom ain't got none of that shit. (laughs) Nobody running our family. Mm -hmm. So I need you to be able to hold that down. Right. So so for me, I can guide you. But as far as like being there with you, I don't want to do that because I've been a personal trainer and that's what burned me out. So that's one. But Mm -hmm. also, two, 
if we doing this together, I want you to be able to stand on your own. I want you to be able to, I'm, I'm not trying to have you lean on me and depend on me. I want you to be able to teach your friends, teach your family, um, and not look to me to be that, that staple. You know okay. what I'm saying? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. All right. Well, Jay and I agree with everything that um, he said, everything that that, girl asked him and said it was bs uh it's just you know women don't really know they throw that word about around leadership leadership leader they they don't know what the hell it is look um when you're meeting somebody and you get with somebody and you get into a relationship going into marriage you take people as they are i don't care how great of a leader you think you are you take somebody as they are. You ain't going to change them. They are what they are. When you meet them, that's why you need to make sure that you and that person are equally yoked, that you want the same things out of life, have those tough conversations. Hey, do y'all agree on finances, uh, food when it comes to health, like him, what he's talking about, going to the gym, physical health, watching what you eat. It's don't don't get with some somebody that is, extre- is unhealthy, eating whatever they want to eat, overweight and then think that just because um they love you you're in love with them oh now i'm going to change you we're going to go to the gym i'm gonna make you skinny no um if you got with somebody that was big you're with a big person now you ain't going to take that big person to make them a skinny person yeah sometimes it happens and you can get somebody in the gym but for the most part no because if it was about a man being a leader then when that man said, hey, I don't like those big lashes on your face, you know what you would have said? You would have said, oh, yes, because you're the leader and you can motivate me to take these lashes off. Right. So I, I just think it's funny how they and that's why I said, you know, it shows how women can be ridiculous. This is a little things I pick up on. Is that they pick and choose when they want to apply that word. When that word is to be used. It's funny how they do that. When it comes to the lashes, he's not allowed to be a leader. Oh, you're trying to change me. Oh, you don't want to allow me to be who I am. But then all of a sudden, because he's saying, hey, y'all not my type because y'all overweight. Y'all don't look like y'all work out. Now, all of a sudden, it's, oh, but if you were a leader, you would be able to, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'd be able to what? Because the other girl said that I couldn't date women because I said, hey, I, I don't I don't like the big lashes. If, I, if, if y'all thought of men as leaders, you would just say, oh, okay, there's no problem. I can take them off. <sighs> But that's just my two cents. Anywho, um, get in that comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, smash that like button. Share the video. Join the conversation. Start a conversation. I will catch y'all later. Appreciate you stopping by. Risky out. Risky behavior.